Hey, what's up guys? It is Saints fan. Welcome back to another episode of the top five paint jobs of the week. Today we have five awesome custom modded paint jobs for some of your cars in GTA Online. If you do enjoy the video and you like the paint jobs, drop a like, that'd be much appreciated, and subscribe for these every single Tuesday. Just want to give a shout out to the guys over on the GTA forums. These are where the paint jobs are coming from. They make some really incredible ones. So you can go check out the forum page in the description if you want to. This first one is called Daytona Blue by Inline6. Hex is on the screen. And honestly, it is pretty similar to Mr. Freeze that I did way, way back in the day. I think it's a little bit more blue. The Mr. Freeze one, it seems to me, at least is a little bit uh, more brighter or whiter, I guess. This one here is on the Phoenix. It looks absolutely incredible on this car. I mean, honestly, on most cars, this car would look really nice. Unfortunately, you know, if you're not a fan of these super bright colors, then, you know, this paint job might not be for you. But I really like the way this came out. And I'll actually throw up the picture that the creator took so you can see it in a different light. Looks pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion. These next two are actually from AEDH, and this one is Deep Teal. Uh, one thing you're actually going to have to do before you put the crew color on is put on the gasoline green metallic paint job because that's actually how you get this pearlescent that's on it. It's kind of, uh, it's a little bit brighter than the, the base paint, but it's not as bright as like a, you know, a cream or a ice white or a frost white or anything. I, I really like this one, especially on the, uh, the Stinger GT here. Definitely, in my opinion, one of the better darker green crew colors. And it's just, it's such a simple looking color man simple and elegant I, I love these type of colors especially for these sports classic type of cars but i mean even putting this on you know a super or a sports car it will probably still look really good also just so you can see what it looks like on other cars here is the teal green or the deep teal on the dukes man like i said any really sort of older or not older cars but like I don't know. I feel like this car, even though, like I said, it, it might look good, or this color might look good on sports and supercars, I feel like it fits, you know, these sort of classic cars the best. The second color from him, though, is this one. Don't think there's an actual name for it, but it's a really, really beautiful red. It's it's almost similar to the Cabernet red. Uh, it does differentiate from it a little bit. I'll show comparison here in a second. But this one, Hex is on the screen, just put a salmon pink pearlescent on top of it, and you achieve this result. This is on the 770. It looks amazing on this color, or on this car. This car does, as you can see, have a lot of curves on it. So, you know, you get some really nice lighting effects on it in some parts. But here is actually a comparison of what it looks like against Cabernet Red. You can see Cabernet Red is a little bit, I would almost say, darker. It, it honestly, Cabernet Red, in my opinion, it looks more purplish uh, than that crew color. And then since we put the salmon pink pearlescent on that one, you can see it's not as uh, toned down, I guess, or it's not as white because this one, I think, has a frost white pearlescent on it. But I really like that color, and again, it looks great on the 770. The fourth color we have is called Apple Tree Green, and we have it here on the Masakro. I feel like this color is kind of in the middle between the people who like super bright colors or lighter colors and then a darker tone of the color because this one is kind of in the middle. Uh, it's not as dark as, you know, the, t the deep teal, but then it's not as bright as, you know, some of the other, like a mint green, for instance. I really like the way it looks on this car. I think this is just a frost white pearlescent on. Really simple, really nice and elegant. And if you are a fan of green cars, then I think this one is definitely a great one to add to your garage. And then last but not least, we have this one. It's a Ford Holly Green, I guess, from Spacey. And this one is on the Rat Truck. You could probably test this on some other vehicles if you want to, to see what it looks like. Uh, on this one, I really like the way it looks, especially with the sort of worn down look of this truck. But and I know there's like a lot of green colors in this episode but this one's another fantastic one again we have the darker green there this one is a little bit darker and and more of a green ish color than uh the one we just did but i really love it on these older cars or on this rat truck in particular this also might look good on say the slam van especially like the lowrider version but i think it looks good it doesn't have a pearlescent on it i don't believe but you can you know put one if you desire I just like the way it looks, and uh, that's why I wanted to include it. So, 
those were the top five paint jobs of the week. We had a few greens, a red, and then a super light blue. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, if you did, please drop a like. That'd be much appreciated. Let me know in the comments or you can tweet at me if you have a color you want to submit for next week's episode. See you all in the next video. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.